Is ready? Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Lucas Espara, and Happy New Year, of course. Happy New Year. Back. Back. Oh, hold on. My bad. I thought I. Almost like I knew what I was doing. Okay. Thank you. Today, I just want to ask one question. I would like to know who in this room likes to travel, <laughs> explore the world, and uh, meet people from different cultures, and enjoy the life and uh, adventures, and have a good time with family and friends. Yes. Right? The truth, we all do. We all like to travel, go to different countries, and learn about the culture by traveling ourselves. Sometimes can be a little hard and problematic. For instance, we have situations like safety. When you arrive to a different country, you don't know the country. Sometimes it's kind of sketchy, or you don't know if you can go in the night. Is, is somebody can rob you, or, or you want to explore and you're not sure where you can go. And accommodations, you book your, your hotel online, and when you get there, it's not the real one like the picture. The picture is better. <laughs> so money, when you, you want to buy something, women will always like to buy something, and they don't accept our credit cards. So you need to figure out what is the money currency, or oh, you ended up paying uh, more sometimes to that. So transportation, very important. When we travel to other country, we definitely want to explore the country, but you need to figure out if you need a taxi, train, uh, walk around, or rent a car, and get lost again. <laughs> sometimes it's really hard and the GPA, GPS didn't work. So it's those things. Language barrier is very important because sometimes you want, again, directions to get there and nobody can explain you how to get to the place you really want to go. Or if you go to a restaurant, the waitress couldn't understand what you want and then you ended up eating whatever they give to you because you don't have a chance to go to the other places. But anyway, and then I have an idea. I say, why don't you don't travel with a friend? Somebody who lives in the community, who knows what you like, what your style of travel, what you need. And, and also the friend is going to organize everything for you. And as soon as you get to the, to the country, that friend will be waiting for you and your group or your family and the airport to take you, stay with you, greet you, you and your family, and take you to the accommodations, go with you all the time to the places you chose to be there before the trip. You tell me what you want to do, and I organize everything for you. You don't have to worry about anything. I'm in charge. So you don't have to worry at all. So, so guess what? I'm your friend in Colombia. Let me tell you a little bit about Colombia. Colombia is, I'm not Colombia, I love my country. <laughs> 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 Colombia is only three hours from here. If you take direct flight from Orlando to Cartagena, but it's the most vivid and diversity and beautiful city, you can get there in three hours, direct flight. Chim, chim there. And you can explore the nature. Colombia is located, and we have coasts in the Caribbean and the Pacific. We have a range in the mountains, uh, the diversity of the landscape, fauna, flora, the food is amazing, and people uh, is very friendly, and you, you can eat delicious because the food over there is very organic because the farm and flora is 
too many options. You can eat, it's more than 300 fruits. So I say, what? It's too many. So you can enjoy one every, every day. So, so let me tell you something about myself. I always, I'm, I live here in this country for many years. And I really love to be here. I'm very grateful and blessed person to live in this country. I love it. But I always keep my culture and my country in my heart. And that's why I always invite my friends. Come, come to Colombia to see a little piece of the paradise. You can enjoy it. It's a beautiful place where you can go and explore and go to the mountains, go with me, and you are going to feel afraid at all. You, I'm going to be, and thank you, you say, if I want to explore the mountains, let's go to the mountains. We can go around and you can interact with the indigents. Indigents are there. We can, we, you can interact with them and they also uh, enjoy the nature over there. It's very important. But, sorry. <laughs> But why you chose me? I'm excited that the booking, online booking, because I'm going to be here. I'm here to guide you, to be with you, and I'm your friend. I'm here, but also I'm a local here, but I'm local there from Colombia. I always come and go all the time to my country. A knowledgeable than the a tra travel agent because I know the culture over there and how it works everything in my country. I move over there like a little fish in the water. <laughs> Everywhere, so um, I, it's very easy. And more freedom than the tour guide. When you take a tour guide to go to, uh, to those um, tours, you have to follow and run behind them and sometimes you miss some important information. So, oops, you miss it. So with me, you might I'm going to be with you all the time. I'm going to guide you. I'm going to send you all the time you're going to be in the expedition. So that's why I'm your, your friendless option. Thank you. And for that reason, I create a company called Exotic Getaway Expeditions. We can, I create custom packages for uh, experience. Tra a travel experience, custom made based on what you like, what you need, what is your travel style, and the, very important about budget. Sometimes we couldn't travel because the budget is way too expensive or something like that. So here I can adjust the difference what you like. So how it works? Expedition would be only one for month. Organize for a group of four to ten people, family or groups who likes to travel. Duration five or more days depends what the people wants to explore over there. And budgets. That's what I say. That is my wow wow factor because that is very important for for people. So Eva, we gotta we gotta wrap it up. Sorry. Okay. Uh, business model. The price is going to be 160 for a week, uh, for for day, for a group of six, and then forty dollars for a person additional. Accommodation and tours and transportation is going to be uh, is going to be directly with the cost with the locals because I got direct connection with the locals over there. And total price has to be paid prior uh, the pre prior the trip. Yes. Choice package, I offer two packages. I pick only the, the most vivid in the diversity city in Colombia called Cartagena. And I have two packages right now. One in the hotel, who is located in the old town, the most uh, is called by UNESCO World Heritage Site because the colonial is, uh, is very, the colonial architecture is very well maintained. And the other one, the other location is going to be in the beach the luxury apartments where you can enjoy all the accommodations, pool, jacuzzi, uh, and, and gymnastics, but also be connected with the nature too. So the package includes sleeping, living accommodations, all the VIP tours are going to organize all the tours for you. 
depend on your style, what you need, what you want to do, and the time you'll be there. Guiding tickets, all the tickets is include some meals, uh, because I want to be with you all day, but the night you can do all, all just with your friends or your partners. And private transportation, I have my transportation over there. You don't have to worry to take a bus or Uber or get lost. And to guide me, your friend, I'm going to be there all the time for you to guide you. To, that way you're going to feel comfortable, safe, and you don't have to worry about nothing. Okay. So, do you have a, do you have, thank do you. Have a, do you have a wrap-up slide? Or is... Yes, that is that. Yes, this one is a little pictures I take when I go around the city. Okay. So, thank you. Where's your... And I can appreciate it. Actually, go, go ahead really quick and, okay. and, and talk this slide. Okay, what I need my help, marketing is the thing I'm struggling because I really like to know if somebody likes my project or my business idea and works in marketing and wants to be part of the team with me, wants to travel and do that with me, it would be amazing. And mentorship, of course, I'm just a beginner, I'm just a startup and I'm a step, my baby steps. So I really appreciate any uh, mentorship. I have a lot of friends, uh, a lot of help over here. So thank you. One million cups for all the support. I did this because one million cups support me and that I'm here, but if somebody wants to guide me, I really appreciate it. Um, I have a question. Yes, sir. Hey, have you tried going on any podcasts to uh, if no. you can become a guest on a podcast, uh, especially travel podcasts, you can talk about what travel is like in Colombia, the things to do. Uh, I know there are a number of travel podcasts that they would love to have you as a guest. Oh, thank you. I didn't even know that. Thank you for that. All right, uh, we're going to come over here. Um, we're going to ask them that your question be about her business. Um, so, I see so much potential with what you're doing. I'm um, just curious, what company are you current, or what companies, as far as like um, Fortune 500s or even smaller companies, local, have you communicated with to make them aware of your businesses? Because some companies actually like to do small trips with their um, their people. Thank you. I didn't know that. I really appreciate that information. Wonderful. <laughs> no, the truth is, I, were, I just took all of my friends to Colombia. That is my idea. And, and I said, but this is fun idea. The people want to be safe and enjoy. And I'm going to be so happy to guide you. But I really appreciate that because that way I can be connected with uh, companies like that. And they could be your brand ambassadors. Really? people traveling solo and then you mentioned that it has to be a group of five or more so are you saying that a single person could say hey i want to go on your next trip to columbia mm -hmm. could i join another group of people or does the group have to be booked together like a family or a group of friends thank you i uh, in this case i i want to create a package for a group who if you first of all i would like to know what is the favorite things you like to do Right? You say, I like to be in the nature or explore with the, do yoga and something like that. So I'm going to have a, you tell me what time, uh, what time of the year you want to go, right? Because the tickets have to buy by you. I'm not going to do all the tickets because some people like different uh, uh, lines. So you tell me, I like to go with, um, uh, for yoga retreat, something like that. So I figured out to try to create a group fit you, that way you can be connected with these people and you can have more things in common. Yes, so I don't want to take young people to get to the... And, and you have another question? Yes, one quick thing. I checked out the UCF Women's Club because they do have travel groups. That might be a way to um, build your awareness. Oh, thank you. All right, uh, Denny? Two suggestions 
mentioned, insurance companies always have travel rewards for agencies themselves. So get a hold of insurance companies and just make yourself available to them. If they've got somebody who wants to travel to Columbia, that's perfect. And also Rotary has a group which is strictly travel agents. You should get a hold of them and present to them. You have all the travel agents in one room, that'll really help you. Thank you so much. Right. Don? This is, you should be an A plus with your enthusiasm. That's a contagious. That's the contagious. This is a great concept, but we have many business out of it. All right, we're going to spend some time here and help you out of the world. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Josh, and then Good job. I think you have a bigger uh, opportunity here than you may realize. Have you considered scaling this, creating a brand around <coughs> your friend in, and then it could be anywhere where, because that's what I want to do when I travel. If I know I have a friend somewhere, that's going to make it easier for me to make that decision. As long as money's not an issue, I'm, I'm going to go to that place. So if you can, if you can brand this, if you can uh, create a business model around this, where it's your friend in. Venezuela, your friend in Cartagena, your friend in Belize. Um, I think this is something you can expand out and you can license this. This could be something even far bigger than you just bringing people to Colombia. Oh, thank you. Uh, Robert? Can I make it more? <laughs> <laughs> okay. good, good morning. Good morning. So, um, energy, fantastic. Great passion for it. Very, very, very good on selling, selling, sellability. Helps. Um, I like those little story snippets that you told here and there, right? However, I, I think it would benefit you to have more of make pick like two different types of people. Like this person's a single person and they have trouble finding places, blah blah blah. And then, oh, this is a family of. of um, of newlyweds and they like to they don't like to go on vacation just by themselves, right? So and then you take them both on a journey through your presentation about the value and, and focus on the value, right? Because we haven't gone through all those things yet, right? Because you're just talking about features and benefits. However, the features and benefits are not what people are going to be buying. They're going to be buying the value of the trip, okay, and what they get out of the trip. Uh, so I would suggest uh, that um, you could be more concise with your explanations and and and, and more to the point with your uh, with your uh, features and benefits and, and the problems and the solutions and things like that. But uh, and then yes, definitely need to go into the business model and things like that a little more.
All right, and next we are going to have um, George Luniv. Am I saying it right? I'm not. Luniv. Well, anyway, uh, George, uh, if you are online, can you unmute and say hello? I do know that the audio is working this way. Yes, it is. Um, George, are you with us? Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Testing one, two, one, two. 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 Is there going to be a dialogue or just a monologue? Because I don't know when to start or what to do. Okay. Um, my name is George Lunov. I am the founder and director and system engineer at Omega Incorporated. And our new product is called Power From On High. It is a very unique zero carbon, zero emission portable generator, ideally suited to be an onboard generator for any electric vehicle and keep the batteries recharged for whatever distance you're driving to prevent you from having to stop to recharge. A very novel idea, wouldn't you say? And we do this simply with principles of physics, multiple principles of physics. And we are in the development stage. This is, we're not a seed or a pre-seed. We're, I've already tested the design for different rays mathematically, and we did a simulation on it. And all we need to do now is to build it. So the uses of it, before I get into the financials, the uses of it are, um, again, to power any electric vehicle for America's future electrified transportation. Now, in addition to on the road transportation through trucks and cars, I'm also talking about electrified aviation, if anyone has heard anything about it recently. Um, that is also in the works to the point where one manufacturer has electrified a turbo jet engine uh, using batteries. And there's also electrified use in a airplane with, I believe, 55 seats from Alaskan Airlines that is using hydrogen power, although the limitations with hydrogen power is that it ran out after 15 minutes of flight. Of course, it didn't drop out of the sky. The pilots were well aware of the shortage of fuel about the 12 minute mark and landed the plane. But again, everything is being limited by the fuel source and hydrogen needs tanks which contain a very volatile gas, which when it is exposed to air, ignites instantaneously producing a cloud. And at the interface of the junction of the hydrogen in the tank to the atmosphere, the flame temperature is 2000 plus degrees. 
In addition, hydrogen tanks leak because hydrogen is a two atom molecule and there's really very few things, if any at all, except for layers of carbon, multiple layers of carbon uh, on top of one another. And that will only retard the leak of the gas. And so that's, that's the second issue. My generator solves all those problems. Um, it uses off-the-shelf alternators. It uses off-the-shelf motors. And we have a trade secret that makes it all work. Um, I wish I could hear you at the moment. Um, I would like to ask for any questions from the listeners. George, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. We're, okay. we're, we're going to hybrid this a little bit. Sure. Um, if you tell me what page, if you tell me what page you are on my website, I can track you. Okay. We're on the nuclear power page. Okay. Stand by. Are you on the one with the dogs or the one with the chimney stacks? Dogs, 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 dogs. Okay. This is the outcome with nuclear power. It's a fantastic system, okay, producing very uh, a lot of kilowatts at a very low rate per kilowatt. <clears throat> but the problem is when there is an accident of one type or another. And with Fukushima, not only did it contaminate the Pacific Oceans from having its cooling ponds washed out by the tidal waves. Um, Fuk um, Chernobyl had an evacuation and they all left their pets to fend on their own. And anybody left in the area had to wear a mask. As you can see on the picture on the right, go to the next slide, please. We're there. We're there. <clears throat> Our power, the product's name is power, has come from on high. And we don't do, we don't achieve it through a mystical way or a supernatural way. <clears throat> it is through a creative method. Next slide. Go ahead. Go ahead. We are using a motor and a generator as everybody else does. It's just the interface that we have, which is our trade secret that allows us to achieve what we've achieved. Next slide. We simply pay attention to the nuts and bolts of how it's supposed to be put together. Next slide. And you're wondering where can it be used? Or anywhere where there's not a grid, okay? Missionary schools or outdoor churches. Next slide. The most popular use would be in the trunk of an electric vehicle which would keep the batteries recharged as you drive whatever distance you want to go. My example is from New York to Los Angeles without having, without having to stop for recharge. <clears throat> a very novel idea, but this is the capabilities of it. And if you want to go one step further, you can take the same generator that's in the trunk of your car and when you get home, close your garage door, take the extension cord out from the generator and plug it into your house and power your entire house for the whole night. If you happen to be connected with your utility company's net metering device, where you get credit back from the utility company for non-used power and for power sold back to the grid, this generator will pay for itself in half the time it takes for solar to achieve the same results. Next slide. Just as with solar panels, okay, the risk in your investment is from mother nature whether it be tornadoes, hailstorms, or hurricanes. Our generator sits inside the home, protected, usually in the garage at the bottom of your at the bottom of your utility box, where we connect the wires from the generator into your utility box and it drives electricity to, throughout the whole house. You also don't have to schedule your appliances as a lot of solar panel owners are, are discovering. Um, you can use your washer, your dryer, your stove, your iron, your air conditioner, your refrigerator, all at the same time. 
because we can size whatever amount you need and a little bit extra so you never have to worry about scheduling your appliances. Next slide. So I'm inviting you to join our limited partnership and be a part of a global change. Right now, the population of the world is calling for renewable clean energy. With this generator, with the trademark name of Power From On High, it's just not the next generation of electrical generators. It is the final step in electrical power production. You can request our non-disclosure and non-compete agreement by emailing me at the email you see there, alameda789 at bellsouth.net. And you can get in touch with me at my phone number, as you see there, anytime after 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I have a link to my GoFundMe account in the bottom of the middle column. Any questions? All right. Someone's going to have to repeat the question up over the mic so I can hear you. Okay, try, try again. I just fixed. Very echoing. Get close to the mic. George, did you hear that? Nope. All I heard was mumbling. I couldn't distinguish the words. Okay. Um, we'll try one more time. No, it's no. Uh, that was muted. Well, Get as close um, to the microphone as you can. Okay. Uh, he's going to have to ask now. Go ahead. Can you hear me? You're very you echoey. All right. Let's try it without the microphone. Just speak loudly. Well, again, can you hear me? Very faintly. Okay, I'll repeat it. So don't, let's move this forward. Has been patented. Okay, have, do you have a patent? Is this first question? Okay, if anybody has been following patent registration, okay, let me. Let me let you in on the secret and a big disappointment right now with the patent office for all the inventors in the in the United States. They have what they call an appeal board for the last 10 years. <clears throat> they have recently been turning down reissuance of patents for renewing by the inventor because it's been challenged by a non-standing corporation. What it means by a non-standing corporation is that the the challenging corporation has no product similar to the inventor's invention, has no purpose of doing anything to negotiate with the inventor as far as the license agreement. They simply challenge it, and the patent office is the appeal board of the patent office is granting the challenge and negating the inventor's patent. So with this, um, I have to answer to you that no, I am not looking at a patent at the moment. I am instead looking for licensing agreements with potential competitors. And the reason why I say I'm not afraid of that is because if I were a competitor and somebody came to me with this generator that is a fuel, fuelless generator that feeds itself, I would be very concerned in pursuing my original product. Okay. And the second question? Um, yeah. Actually, yeah okay. All right. Do you have a working prototype? That's what I'm asking funding for. That's why I have a GoFundMe account. Okay. What are you looking for report? financially for to uh, um, for, for the, the ask, to build the prototype? For the ask? The ask. Yes. For the ask, I'm asking for, for 500000 Okay. And in exchange, I will be able to 
uh, give 9%, okay, after the safe has been issued. If everybody understands what a safe is. Okay. It's a, uh, it is, oh, my webpage is copyrighted and I have a trademark registered under the name Power from on high. So I'm protected there. Okay, Al? You have a working model, how do you know it works? Yeah. I've, I've done the mathematical calculations four different ways. Okay, I'm a systems engineer in the aerospace industry. I speak from an experienced point of view. Okay, FC. So how much does it cost to make a prototype? I'm look I need with ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars is the to build a prototype. Correct. Okay. And what do you Correct, but, but the actual cost of the units that would be for sale is one third the price of equivalent solar output. Okay, so say for instance say I'm in, well say I'm interested in giving you ten thousand dollars. What are you going to do with the mm -hmm. other four hundred ninety thousand dollars? <laughs> but but what's sorry, the plan yeah. for the other four hundred ninety thousand once you once you've developed the the prototype? Oh, that would go into marketing. That would go to uh, um, intellectual property insurance. That would go to a warehouse rentals. That would go for equipment. That would go for office space, marketing, and attorney fees. So activities okay. as well. Sean? This is such a powerful concept. If you go to the right person in the business world, you shouldn't have any problem getting anybody, whatever amount of money you need. So you have to bring the right person to find out. And I can Correct. I agree with you. The question is where to find that person. Well, Sean, Sean, Sean can reach out to you and, and potentially help you with that. He's actually got a lot of patents. You have amazing content. So. Super, Sean. I mean, do you, do you see my well, phone well, number there that you can? Okay. All right, George. Uh, final question: What can we, as the One Million Cups Orlando Group, do for you, community, as a community? Find me uh, investors who are very familiar with energy production that I can pitch this to. That's basically. Okay. It. Well, we, we we might be able to go to to throw you down some uh, uh, some roads on on how to approach that sort of thing. Um, okay. We can certainly look into that. So we'll keep in, in touch with you. Thank you very much. Uh, we're glad that you were able to present. Sorry, sorry for the slight uh, technology challenges. It's persistence that paid off. <laughs> and if I can encourage anybody out there who's an entrepreneur, when you are in your business or starting your business, you're going to have to be very persistent. You'll get a lot of no's, but don't let that stop you. Sage advice. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, George. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you to our presenters, George and Eva. Uh, uh, ne next week, uh, we're going to have uh, Andre Irma. I, I, am, I am butchering names today. Irma from Roll Labs. Uh, and again, we are going to be at the UCF Business Incubator on East Colonial. If you need the address, uh, you can come to us and we'll have that. We'll also have it updated on uh, various social media sites, uh, Meetup. Um, it's the best way to, to get good information. Um, but we will have that information out. Um, if it's not out there already, it will be open by the end of the day. And then you can also inquire to any of us and we can tell you how to get down there and talk to East Colonial. Um, we have an announcement by Deja. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob.
Good morning. I hope this is very brief. I just want to share an event that a client and I are doing. Um, if you've ever heard of Career Suits, they're a local educational technology company that uses AI to help young people 14 to 24 figure out what they need to do. Right? So imagine if you could have talked to AI and figured out you know, your top 10 career recommendations when you were done and talked to somebody, a mentor in that field. Um, that's what we do, and we're putting on a financial literacy for young adults webinar on Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday. So Tuesday, January 9th. It's a completely free event. It's a financial education that young people or their parents will need to know to get ahead in life and get a proper start on their finances. Um, it's a good event I wanted to share with you just because you know any young people or parents of young people we um <laughs> yes. Then the webinar is a dual presentation. So there's information for students themselves. It's at 1424, high school, college students, and then um, their parents as well. So like how to prepare for um, you know stay for college, investments you can make, savings ahead, things like that. Online or virtual? It's going to be online, yes. So if you're interested, um, I would be in the back after and I can reapply it. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about career space in general, um, I have some templates and I can share that with you. What time? The webinar is at 4 o'clock, uh, 4 to 5 30 on Tuesday, um, January 9th. I think that's all the important information. And our guest speaker is Elliot Mina. Um, he's a VP investment banker of Amazon Capital, if you're familiar with his business at all. Incredible guys, I love uh, his office. That's our Any questions? Thank you so much. Anybody who's aware of her uh, uh, it's a great startup, uh, a great young man who he and his mother put this together. Uh, they won multiple competitions. Uh, they launched uh, in the fall, especially uh, with that great thing. Good morning. Uh, You might know that the color competition is going to be held this evening in the US, right? This is one of the best ones around. And this year, we're going to make it farther than we were before. I am telling each and every person who is eligible for it to apply for it. Now, you will get a feedback for each and every one who get a written feedback about your application, what you need to do. But the most important thing is that you climb up to the ladder, find each other around 16 or so in the final. They will get an amazing uh, uh, education. We are trying to get, help you make it investable. That's what we are trying to get prepared for you. The investable company. So it's going to be anywhere you want to and present your potential investment. So it's a global opportunity. We are going to be one of the biggest and best ones ever. So I, uh, What's the organization? Global business, business development. Okay. Twenty twenty four. Right now, right now we want to do twenty three on the day. So see that. This okay. evening at six o'clock, you will be there. Okay. I think work try to. Okay. If you can buy ten hundred every week, that would be helpful. Um, again, that's the, the, the uh, current school for advanced entrepreneurship uh, across the way. Mine will be the right here from March 17th, and also the right here. Okay, and Rupert? We'll tell us about really. So, uh, welcome everybody. Finally, thanks for coming out. Uh, Rupert, I got from the entrepreneur. I have several sponsors in here. Very satisfied sponsors. <laughs> Um, so, Atlantapreneur is an organization of entrepreneurs, for entrepreneurs in Central Florida. Our mission is to help transform the startup ecosystem in Orlando into a, a startup machine that other cities in the world want to emulate. And so, the first step, which was all of last year, was to bring everybody together. So, we have over 1,700 members. And we held 12 events in the past year with an 
average is nearly 140 people, several events over 200. And the next one's the top of the third Monday of every month. So the next one's coming up on the 15th. I still don't have a location yet, but I should know I should have it uh, within the next couple of days. Um, and always looking for sponsors to be even sponsors. And um, you know, it, it's a great event. We always have learning component so that we want to make sure that everybody who attends has some value to take away from it. We always buy the first drink. It's a free event. And uh, you know, we kind of have the Citrus Club and Octavia 360 and Blue Martini and uh, all that. Event. So it's going to be on the 15th and uh, from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Okay. All right. Okay, everyone, again, for coming today, for putting up with me. Uh, I'll get better at this. By the end of the year, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all, and we'll see you all at the UCF in the city later next week. Colonial. On these colonials. <laughs>